Hello, I'm Frank Hartman with the Hartman Law Firm, and I'm a practicing attorney in Charleston, South Carolina, specializing in auto accidents and personal injury. And today we're going to answer the question, how long does an insurance company have to pay out on your property damage claim? I have good news and I have bad news. Worst case scenario, the insurance company can take up to two years to potentially settle your property damage claim. Now obviously that is a worst case scenario, and it's usually one in which you've got two insurance carriers, neither of which want to pay for the property damage. Also, that can come about if you are in a dispute with the insurance company about the value of your car. You think your car is worth $5,500 and they come back and they make an offer of $4,000. You're not willing to take $4,000 for the full and total of your vehicle, and so you won't sign a policy release. Where you can go from that point is what's called arbitration. You can actually, actually ask to have a property damage arbitration done in which there'll be a third party arbiter who essentially looks at your case and the insurance company's case and then makes final judgment about whatever that property damage or whatever the car's value is actually worth and then awards you that amount. That particular process can take up to two years in the event that you decide to you know, kind of push the issue. The good news is, is this, most states, including South Carolina, typically have a grace period of anywhere between 30 to 45 days in which an insurance carrier has to go ahead and resolve the property damage issue. And what I mean by that is you've been involved in an auto accident, your car is totaled or it needs to be repaired, but typically that's a matter in which the car has been totaled. They would have anywhere between four to six weeks to resolve your property damage issue. And what I mean by that is they get somebody out there, they get a look at it, uh, they get uh, an estimate, they make a decision about whether the car is in fact a total. If it's in fact a total, they've got to call you and they've got to tell you, okay, it's a total and this is what we're willing to offer and then you sign the title over to them and they take the car to the junkyard. That is the resolution of your property damage claim. Where it gets interesting is if they drag their feet for whatever reason they're delaying things. Typically if they go beyond 60 days, you might actually have legal recourse against them for an intentional delay of resolving your property damage issue. And obviously you would need a lawyer in order to be able to pursue that. And you'd probably have to prove some form of bad faith on their part in the sense that they should have paid and they hadn't. I'm Frank Hartman with the Hartman Law Firm. And today we answer the question, how long does an insurance company have to resolve your property damage claim following your auto accident? If you're watching this video and you have further questions regarding your auto accident, feel free to call me at 843-300. 7600 or look me up at the hartmanlawfirm.com thanks for watching